Thank you so much, ladies. So from Voluntourism, we're talking Cape Town International Animation Festival was back in the mother city, and once again, it was a huge success. So next up, we sit down with two Academy Award-winning professionals in the animation industry, talking about and gaining a deeper understanding around animation, international animation, the industry, and where it's all heading. Here's Kat. So earlier on, we sat down with the director of the recent 2019 Cape Town International Animation Festival, Deanne Makings, where animators and industry professionals got the opportunity to gain premium expertise and engage with those who've made it all the way to the top. Now, well, we are very, very excited right now to announce that we have the producer of the Shrek series, Academy Award-winning producer and actor Aaron Warner, as well as the recent winner of the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature Film for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse director and illustrator Peter Ramsey. Gentlemen, congratulations and welcome to Thank the studio. You. Can we just, can we just please, please, Thank it's you. that kind of occasion. Thank you. Thank it's you. a real honor to have uh, both of you here. Uh, Aaron, I'll start with you first. I mean, the the Shrek movies, the, the sequels, um, have such a great way of using the, the subversion of, of, of storytelling, but also while bringing in um, fairy tale conventions and then just to great uh, comedic effect. We've, we've enjoyed that for the longest time. Tell me about the significance of the Shrek movies in the time that they were released and how you see them having impacted um, animation since then. It, it feels like since Shrek came out, a lot of people felt more freedom to have fun with animated movies and just go nuts. And we did stuff that was, you know, that hadn't been done before and I feel like it gave people permission to kind of create and 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 release themselves from a very kind of normalized way of making an animated film. Yeah. And I think one of the great successes of, of Shrek is that it just goes across the board in terms of age and it just appeals to so many different people. What do you think it is about animation that is able to achieve that? I mean, I, 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 Shrek specifically is when we, the, when we made that movie work, which took a long, long time to do, we, we did it because we realized it was about us and just feeling completely nerdy, useless, and, you know, green. <laughs> And, and once, we, once we hit on that, it, it just became a personal movie. And I think that that's where movies uh, succeed or fail. Yeah, yeah. And Peter, if I may go to you, and then just if, if I can even ask this question about how you're feeling right now, given your <laughs> recent Academy Award win. How do you feel about that? That's, that's um, crazy. Yeah, it's like, uh, honestly, it, it feels a little bit like a dream that you have a week ago, and every once in a while I remember and go, oh yeah, that's right, that happened. <laughs> ah. Is it somewhere there in the house where you can just like take a peek at it? And you're like, oh yeah, we'll be eating breakfast or eating dinner and just <laughs> happen to see it. And go, oh wow, what's that? That's an Oscar. That's fantastic. That's and then, of course, taking on a film like this, um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you're working with a film franchise or a comic franchise that has had a long-standing mm -hmm. history um, fans for the longest time, but yet you still also want to put your own mark on this. You want to give it its own identity and make it its own entity. Mm -hmm. How did you go about that? Uh, uh, you know, we had an amazing team of people. Uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who have done a lot of great animated movies, and also the 21 Jump Street series, Cloudy with the Tents of Meatballs. Those were the guys who uh, originally got the call from Sony to sort of uh, try to reinvent Spider-Man as an animated feature, and they chose to do the Miles Morales movie. Miles is a different version of the character than the original Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. And it was all about um, trying to reinvent a character who people thought they were familiar with, had you know grown to know and love for years and years. And our mission was just to do everything to make it as different and as bold as possible to really uh, introduce people to this new version of Spider-Man in Miles. Yeah. Tell me about the decision to go about giving each, each character their own style um, right. of, of animation. Was that a kind of a spontaneous in the moment, let's do it differently like this, or a well thought out process of this is what we're trying to achieve with it? It grew, it grew out of the needs of the story. I mean, one thing, we, we had a very complex story that dealt with, you know, anybody who's seen the movie knows it deals with multiple universes and different versions of Spider-Man from all, the, all these different dimensions. So one easy way to show that for us was to make the characters look and feel as different as possible. And since we're working in the medium, medium of animation, it allowed us a lot of freedom to use completely different styles for each character. So it was a way to, to both have fun, to use the medium uh, to its fullest extent, but also to help tell the story of these different dimensions that we yeah. had. 
<laughs> and sure. I think thankfully for us right now as South Africans, um, through social media we're getting exposed to um, a bunch of young creatives, mm. uh, some of whom are uh, artists and fine artists and animators as well. If you could give them a word of encouragement or maybe mm. a, some, some advice on, on how to make it, how to get in there, um, what would your advice, your best piece of advice be? <laughs> um, you know, like Aaron. look, I mean, we, both of us came from, without families in the film yeah. industry, without any connections, we just loved what we wanted, we knew what we wanted to do, and we just kept pushing, and we took every crappy job you could take, yeah. mm -hmm. and we're the best at it that we could be, and, and that's, that's it. That is it. Yeah, for me, I, I always tell people, just don't stop, you know, whatever it is you love to do, whether you're a a painter or a, whether you do storyboards, whether you're an animator or a writer, whatever it is you do, mm -hmm. just keep doing it. Don't stop. Um, and, you know, I know in my career, uh, just just doing that with a good spirit uh, has, like, opened doors and, and brought me to other, other creative people who have shown me things or, or you know, helped me get a, a leg up somehow. So it really is persistence and... Uh, having a passion for what you do. Say yes to everything. Yeah. Say, yes say yes to yes. everything. Say yes to yeah. everything. That's yeah. very true. I'll certainly say yes to that. And thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. We really do appreciate your company. Thank you. Morning. Thank you. Pleasure. Indeed, continuing to develop ambitious and passionate animators is a commendable and worthwhile pursuit and mission. So, if you are in the animation industry or you'd like to get more information about opportunities to gain experience or expertise, then make sure to head on over to the festival page, which is ctiaf.com, or Animation South Africa's website, which is animationsa.org.